Hello, welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, my name is Gabriella and I am a full-time content creator based here in New York City. I make a lot of content surrounding fashion, lifestyle, and also daily and weekly vlogs during my life here in New York. So today is gonna be a little bit of a different video. I'm actually gonna be packing for a week-long trip. I say trip, but really I'm just <laughs> going to New Jersey over to my in-laws um, with Nick because we're gonna be dog sitting for them while they're out of town. So even though it's not a you know trip or vacation, we're still gonna be gone for a little bit over a week actually. So I'm gonna take you guys through my entire packing process and my whole planning process as well. What I'm gonna be doing today in terms of packing and planning is not gonna be any different from what I would do if I were to go on a vacation somewhere else. So I hope you will enjoy this video, and if you do, it would mean so much if you would give it a like and also subscribe to my channel. Okay, so let's go pack. Okay, so today's a Thursday and we are leaving today and then we're gonna be back to New York next Friday. So we're really gone for a little bit over a week. Um, so what I usually do is once I figure out how many days I'll be gone, from that I know how many clothes to pack, how many like underwear, pants, everything. So in my phone, I have a notes that I've been using ever since I think like six years ago. It is what I call a master packing list. You can see I've already started to check off what I've packed. Essentially what I have in here is a whole master list of every single little detail item that I wanna make sure to pack onto the trip. So I start off with clothes and shoes. So I have things like, you know, workout shoes, day shoes, heels, sandals, depending on where I'm going. And then I also have things like my day bag, my evening bag. Those things will creep up on you if you forget. Um, and then of course the typical, like your, you know, your clothes, like your shirts, jackets, it's pants, socks, underwear, etc. Then I have my beauty and skincare category and essentially here I just throw all of my makeup products and my makeup brushes into one pouch and then all of my skincare items into another pouch. But then in here I also have things like my hair oil, my hair heat protectant just in case and then I also have like my self tanner um, and my mitt as well just in case if I have an event to go to or if I'm going to the beach and I want to make sure that I look extra tan so I'll bring that as well. And then I have my Tool. So for example, my hair straightener, um, my hairbrush, my razor, my tweezers, like these are things that I've forgotten to bring in the past before. So I always just make sure that I have it down here in my notes. Then I have another bucket called health and here I have like all my vitamins, all my supplements. If I'm taking any medication during that time, then I'll make sure to put it in here as well. And then I also have things like um, toiletries. So like my toothbrush, my toothpaste um, and my contact lenses too and my glasses. One time I, <laughs> this is like years ago, I went on a trip to the Philippines and I forgot my glasses. Thank God I have my contacts on, but at night when I was just about to go to bed, I would basically be blind. Okay, so another bucket is tech. So in here I have things like my iPhone charger, computer charger, camera charger, everything. Mic, adapters. Okay, so that was a really long list. <laughs> But I hope that helped. Without further ado, let's go get packing. I thought that this would be the best option for me, especially since I'm gone for a little over a week. I don't think a duffel bag would really fit all of my stuff, so this is the best option. This is actually the first time that I purchased from this brand, Cowpack. I mean, so far, so good. It's a perfect size, it's so cute. This is like a black marble design, which I think is really chic and minimal. And I can show you guys the inside as well. Okay, so this is what the inside looks like when I open it up. So here, I can put my clothes here. And then over here, I have some organizational um, storage. So I have this thing where I can zip it here. And then this whole thing actually unzips. Yeah, so if you want to put more clothes or other items like your skincare, makeup, etc., you can put it over there. Okay, so the next thing that I would do is go through that list that I just went through with you and start pulling out everything from my closet, from my bathroom, and just laying it all out on my bed first so I can see everything. I like to do this right before I put it all into my luggage rather than putting it directly into my luggage first so that I can actually have an understanding of everything that I'm packing. And it's also a really good time for me to pull out anything that maybe I actually don't need or add some stuff that maybe I forgot as well. So basically that's what you saw earlier. It is a bit of a mess, but it's an organized mess. 
I also have a few organizational accessories that I want to show you. These are things that I've collected over the last few years just from traveling um, and they're items that have really helped me in terms of packing and also organizing um, during the whole packing process. So the first thing are these packing cubes. This one I usually put my clothes in and then for the smaller one I'll usually put like my underwear, my bras and my socks in and these are just so easy to use. They actually fit a lot more than it looks and I'll show you guys in a bit. And then the next thing that I also like to bring as well whenever I go traveling is just a big laundry bag. So this is one that I've had for a while. I think I got this Oh, it says Palace Hotel Tokyo. It's a really big laundry bag. Usually when I'm traveling and, you know, I have dirty clothes every day, I want to just make sure that I have a place for them to all go into that I can throw into. Okay, and then this one is pretty self-explanatory. I just have a shoe bag. Um, for this trip that I'm going on, I'm just gonna use one shoe bag. One shoe bag works perfectly for me. I mean, I feel like I don't even have to explain it, but sometimes I watch some videos of people packing and they put their shoes straight into the luggage and I'm sorry if you do that, that's nasty. Please, please get a shoe bag. <laughs> One last thing that I also want to show you is this whole bag that I have of my travel accessories. So in here, it's mainly surrounding like my toiletries and my skincare products, but I got all of these on Amazon. So for example, I have these little squeeze bottles and you can put anything you want in here. So usually I've put like shampoo, conditioner, body wash, face wash, anything that is typically large um, that you don't want to pack the whole thing into your suitcase. These are really Really, really good and then I also have like a little spray bottle that I got from Target usually I'll put like a face mist or even like my hair oils in here too and then I have these little guys so these are really really cute they open up like this and they're about this small and these are great for creams or oils and I've also seen people put their vitamins and their supplements in these little things as well if they all fit so these are also from Amazon as well and then these are really exciting for me these are little vitamins in or little pill boxes. So I actually used this um, a few months ago when I went on a trip with my family and they open up like this. They come with the labels so I wrote down everything that I wanted to bring um, and it's all organized here and it's just so cute. I mean if you love you know to organize things and have it all pretty <laughs> This is definitely going to do it for you. Yeah, so I have things in here like my probiotic, zinc, fish oil, melatonin, vitamin C. So all the things that I just mentioned, you can all purchase on Amazon. If it helps, I can leave all the links down below for you to go check out. So for this next part, I thought it'd be easier to just show you on camera, but this is all of my skincare and my makeup products. Excessive, perhaps, but I swear everything in here has a purpose and will be used every single day. So I will walk you through exactly what's in it. So I have this big skincare cosmetic pouch that I bought from Muji. If you want really, really great organizational accessories or items, Muji is the place to go. Everything is so perfect, the quality is great, pretty affordable as well. Okay, so when I open this up, just at first glance, you can see it's like this. First, I just have my glasses in here. One of my travel accessories that I got from, I think this is from Muji as well. But basically, I pumped in all of my face wash in here so I don't have to bring my entire tube. And then I have my Micro Essence from Estee Lauder. Okay, and then I have my Estee Lauder Advanced Night Repair Serum. This is really, really good, by the way. I just started using it and I think I'm gonna be using it for a long time. Then I have my tretinoin from Apostrophe, and I have my vitamin C, I have my Neutrogena benzoyl peroxide just in case. I have my caffeine eye cream, my road peptide lip treatment. This is an eyelash serum that my mom got for me. She swears by it. I have yet to see if it works. Um, I mean, I did just start using it, so let's see. And then I have my rose hip seed oil from The Ordinary. 
And then last but not least, I have my eye drops. And then up here on this upper sleeve here, I have my, I just have four items in here, but four very important items. I have my hair tie, my pimple patches. I have, my husband calls them my wings, but I always have to use them to make sure my hair is out of my face. I use them when I do my skincare and my makeup and it doesn't crease your hair. I have a travel size fragrance. Um, this is just from Tom Ford and it's ombre leather. Bag number two. So this in here, it's less skincare and more toiletries. So in here I have my shampoo and my conditioner. So again, using this this time because my shampoo is like this big and I'm definitely not bringing the entire thing with me, even to Jersey. So have these two. And then I have my toothbrush and I have a toothpaste. And then I have all of my contacts, um, good enough for two weeks just in case. And then I have other things too, like my tweezers, my nail clippers, razor, and a claw clip. Okay, last on the skincare stuff. I don't know, I don't know if you noticed, but I love skincare. <laughs> I have this little Ziploc bag that has a little bit of everything actually. Let's open it up. Okay, so I have face mask, then I have my micellar water from Bioderma, and I have my cleansing oil as well. Um, basically my makeup remover. Okay, and then here I just have my SPF here. Okay, then I have my makeup pouch. This one is pretty self-explanatory. I mean, I don't think I really need to go through all of it um, today. Here it is, just a quick little glance. But I do want to just point out a few of my favorite items in here. So the first one is this new concealer that I got from Rose Ink. This is incredible. When I was at Sephora, the person who was there helping me out, he told me that what he loves about Rose Ink is that she really combines serums into all of her products. So he said that for this concealer, it has, I believe, niacinamide, hyaluronic acid. I will say that when I put this on my under eyes and just on my skin in general, it feels really, really great. And it really stays on for the entire day. And then if you didn't watch my last video, which you absolutely should, you will know that I recently worked with Merit Beauty and it was really exciting because I got to work with them on their new product launch for their bronze balm. This one, I mean, I will absolutely wear this every single day. I've been wearing it every single day since I got it. It. and my shade is in clay. It's so beautiful. It feels so comfortable and sheer on my skin. And if you're interested, I will also leave the link down below for you to check it out. Makeup, all done. And then I just have a few hair accessories or tools. So I'm gonna bring my GHD hair straightener. This one I bought it when I was in Hong Kong, which is why I have the adapter. And then I just have these items. So this is a towel. I think it's a, a microfiber hair towel that I like to put, I like to wrap my hair when I'm fresh out of the shower. This just helps dry out my hair and it doesn't pull onto my hair and um, yeah, dries it out really, really quickly. And then of course I have my hair cap on days when I'm not washing my hair. And then of course my hairbrush. Okay, my camera's like about to die, but before it dies, let me see if I can show you my tech items. Got my computer, computer charger, and then I have my little tripod for my camera. And then in here, I have other things like chargers, adapters, mic. Okay, let's get packing. Once again, thank you so much for watching this video. I hope this helped you in terms of your packing process and also just your travel planning process as well. These are all just tips and tricks that I've learned over the past few years from traveling with my friends and my family. And I hope that all of these tips and tricks help you. If you enjoyed this type of content, then it would mean a lot to me if you would hit the like button and also subscribe to my channel so you're always updated every time I post. Till then, I'll see you guys in the next vlog. Bye.